Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to add a map to your React.js app. So this is an example of how the map will look like. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to create a React app, which in this case we are going to call it my app. So this is the code that you have to type in, in the into the terminal, npx create React app and then my app. I've already created the app, so I'm not going to create another one, but just if you haven't done it already, just uh, create one in this way. Then after you have created the app, you can actually cd into your app. So cd my app and then you can do npm start and this will start the app for you. Okay, starting the development server. So as we can see, uh, this is our basic React app, JS app. So the first thing that we need to do is uh, to uh, install the dependencies. So in order to do that, uh, I'm going to open this project uh, in uh, a WebStorm. You can use any um, you can use any IDE that you want. It doesn't really matter which IDE you're going to use. I just use WebStorm just because uh, it's my favorite uh, one. Or uh, you can use uh, any other like with uh, with um, uh, VS Code if you prefer or any other tool is fine. So let me just open my app with the VS Code and just bring it up here. Okay, so as you can see, my project has just started. So it's the basic uh, basic template that you get when you install uh, when you start create a React JS app. So the first thing that we need to do is uh, to go here and uh, visit this web website reactleaflet.js.org so getting started and uh, we have to go in installation okay so the first thing that we need to do is to add uh, the package called react leaflet so we can open the terminal we can uh, run the command And uh, sorry, there is uh, you, you should not copy the hash key. So just uh, uh, yarn add react leaflet. So this is going to install this uh, react leaflet uh, um, package. And the second package that you're going to need to install is leaflet because it's also a dependency. As you can see, if you open the package JSON, okay. So you have already React installed and you have already React DOM installed by default. So we're not going to have to install that again, but then we can add yar add leaflet, okay? So you can open this package, you can install this package here as well. Okay, perfect, both packages are installed and we can actually see <coughs> one package here and the second package here. So the next step that we're going to do in uh, search, in source uh, folder, you're going to create another uh, uh, folder, which we're going to call it components. Uh, components, yeah. So inside components, uh, we are going to create a JavaScript file, which we are going to call it my map. Okay. And we're going to add it to Git. And uh, I'm going to use uh, uh, this uh, quick comment. Uh, so we're going to create uh, now um, a stateless function component. Okay, so just let me one second pause the video. Okay, so the first thing that we need to, uh, and we need to import uh, is React and a component from React. Then we need to import, uh, uh, then we need to import uh, Okay, so then we need to import a map, tile layer, and at the moment we are not going to put a market, a marker or a pop-up, so we can don't we can avoid to import this one. And I got this uh, information from here, from the example. So if you click on the first example, a simple marker will pop up. We can actually see the example. The example, unfortunately, is not very good because it doesn't really explain you what to do. So for instance, here, there is an error. I mean, you should put like source. That's why I created this video, just to show you step by step and to show you how you can add the map to your, uh, your React.js application.
Then we are going to create a function, which we are going to call it my map. Okay. So the first thing that we need to do is to add a variable called position. So we are going to call it const is going to be a position, and then uh, this position is going to take uh, some uh, values, which is the latitude and longitude. So I'm going to center it in uh, Singapore, for example. And then, uh, since it's a stateless function, we are going to do our return function. And inside our return function, we are going to add uh, our um, all the things necessary to plot, uh, uh, to show the map. So first thing, uh, we have to add this map, which we have imported here from React Leaflet, okay? So we are going to give it uh, a class name, a class name of map. Sorry, let's open that. Then uh, we are going to uh, define the center. So the center of the map and the center of the map is going to be taken from the position, which we just have defined. So of course, feel free to change uh, your position if you want to. And uh, this is misspelled. So let's actually going to reformat this. Uh, uh, we're going to call it position. Okay, perfect. So we're going to define the zoom. Again, you can uh, define a zoom and I will show you this is uh, how much uh, the map is zoom in when you actually load it the first time. And uh, you can change this value and we can, uh, we're going to see how to change this value. And then we're going to add the style. The style is important because it's going to define uh, how big is the um, is going to be the map uh, when it's displaying on your screen. So for instance, you're going to give it uh, a height of uh, 300 in this case. And we're going to give a width of 100%. So if you want to define a width of 100%, you just have to put it like as a string, okay? So the next step is to add this style layer, which you can actually copy this one from here, from the example. So this is exactly a copy from the example. I will put the link in the description of the video. And then that's it. So let me just save this file. So I can actually save this file and then I can go into app.js. In app.js, we can actually see that right now there is this component here, which we don't really need it. So let's cancel this one. And we are going to import uh, my uh, component, which is called my map. Okay. So in order to do that, we need to go up here. So import my map from uh, from components as you can see and then we can go in my map okay so now that we have imported it we can actually uh, it is a self-closing tag so we can actually call it like this and then if we go and refresh the page the map should appear. If it does not appear, okay, so if there is uh, uh, if there is an error, ah, okay, so I haven't, uh, this is, uh, uh, okay, the first error is uh, is my fault that I, do, I didn't export the function, which is called my map. So let's just go back into the component here, and uh, we need to, of course, export this function. And actually the ID was already showing us that there was an error because this my map was uh, gray. So let's try to reload it again. And this is uh, our map. So at the moment it's not rendering very well. So let's try to restart the, um, let's try to restart the, uh, uh, here. So let's close this one, terminate the bad job, yes. So let's going to restart the, the server here. So we go in the package JSON, so we can do, uh, run so yarn uh, start okay so our map still has some uh, issues so what we need to do at the moment is to go inside the 
Okay, so the reason why our map is having some issues and is rendering like this is because we have not imported yet the, the CSS file as is written uh, here in the documentation. So to do that, uh, we just have to go into the index.js file, okay? And then at the top of this file, we're going to import the leaflet.css. As you can see, this file is included inside the package manager. So if you go in node modules, uh, then there is a package called uh, leaflet. Uh, leaflet, okay, here that we have just installed it. And then there is uh, a distribution, a leaflet CSS, okay? So we have added this, let's reload our page, and that's it. So as you can see, you can actually see your map, and now you can zoom in, you can zoom out, and it has all the functionalities. So if you want to, uh, so let's go, back to the, let's go back to the previous file, so let's go back into my map. So if you want to, you can also change the height right now. Uh, let's say that you want to change it to 500, okay. And then uh, that's it. So this is how you can add uh, a map to your React.js application using uh, uh, these two packages, so uh, React-leaflet uh, and uh, leaflet. In the next uh, video, I'm going to show you how you can add a marker and how you can add other functionality to this map. Thank you very much for listening.